Hey guys, Mary and the Barbarian coming at you again with another shave. So thanks to the Chief being on top of his game, I got this in today. Evidently he did fight his girlfriend and he got rid of it. Declaration Grooming, Chatillion Lux, Le Petit Prairie, and the toner. Alright guys, I'll go ahead and show you my brush I'm using today. Trying to figure out if I like it. I think this is probably more of a painting brush because I just don't feel like it splays well. I feel like it's set a little too low. It's a tuxedo knot. That darn Rob. Like I said, the name's Borealis. I don't know if y'all can see, but it, it does sparkle. Uh, that's a little good. Anyways, I really do enjoy this handle. I just may have to take the knot out and reset it a little higher, but I'm going to give it a shot again and see how I like it today. So we're going to use the cube. I mean, I know I don't need it with this, but I want to add a little menthol today. Long day at work. So guys, I'm going to use two straight razors today, one on each side, just kind of see. One is a king cutter. I'll see that I've had for a little while and I couldn't remember if it was shave ready so we're gonna try it out on video for the first time it's not the original handles or scales obviously um, and I'm getting rid of this uh, Dovo art of shaving even has a brass and I want to use it one last time don't know how I'm gonna get rid of it yet but I'm going to get rid of it, but I want to give it one last try before I uh, decide to get rid of it. And then I tore my face up yesterday trying to do two passes and a touch up, some good sized nicks in here. So for my second pass, I'm just going to use the Calypso Aluminium um, with the Wisdomet Blade probably 10th use or so. Haven't really kept track. I'm just trying to see if it uh, feels tuggy, how long it lasts for me. So, and if y'all can see this, come on, back a little. It's an H1 plate. Y'all can't see that. All right. Wet the face today. Open this up. And by the way, this scent, I'm the worst at describing scents. It's growing on me more that I smell it. I just kind of felt like it was okay at first. Mrs. Barbarian really likes it, and I uh, actually sent the chief a text saying it came in, thank you, and uh, he told me the toner smells a little less sweet, and I tend to agree. And like I said, I've never tried Chatillion Lux toner. Um, I have the Weinstrasse aftershave, and the soap, by the way, I just love this. Good stuff. So, all right, got the brush wet, flick out a little, a little bit like we hate it. Probably just killed that. Wonder how many people are going, oh dude. He loaded milk steak like he hated it. Yeah, I did. <sighs> nice menthol. Keep it wet. All right. And just so you know, guys, I don't have a lot of experience with declaration grooming. Weinstrasse is the only one I have in milk steak. And then I have one that's really old and hard that y'all have seen me use before, Nicarus. And that didn't go well for me. So, see how this goes. Very soft soap. I just loaded way too hard, guys. Like it feels so sticky on this brush. So we're gonna be here all day. Fast forward if you want. For those of you, if you don't fast forward, just so you know. Oh man, Whew, that's gonna be a dry lather if I'm not here all day. 
So, the guy let me know. I didn't end up doing all the restoration on the razor I'm going to do for the giveaway. I decided to do the Equator um, made in Solingen. But at first I thought it was patina in the jumps and I just couldn't get it all out. I was doing it all by hand, don't really have any tools and uh, using to do it. I was just using sandpaper and a wire brush and stuff. And polishing cloth afterwards. But anyway, I did it. Sent it to him and told him I'm still going to need him to get the rust out of the jumps. So he's done with it. But I sent a few other things to get honed and cleaned up. I probably shouldn't have sent all that to get honed because I don't know what his edge is like. And I sent CD. Actually, I didn't send it. I had the guy, when I bought it, just mail it directly to CDB and... He finishes on a Jane out, but CDB said the edge felt just a little uh, tuggy, but it was a near wedge, and CDB's never used a near wedge before, so that could have been it as well. Don't get me lying. Wow. So, moral of the story is, guys, I really don't care about subscribers other than to have giveaways. And, like I said, this razor should be to me in the next couple of weeks. Ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and try to purchase a straw. And that's going to be my 100 subscriber giveaway. I think I'm sitting at 82 right now, so... We got a little ways to go. Man, I have gotten messy. Let's see if I can get this to work a little better. Still so damn dry. I should not have loaded like that. I was kind of pressing hard too. And I think I was just watching Jack. I don't remember which day it was. The days are running together. And I mean, I even hear him every time he's like, milk steak, you know, we don't have to load it very long. It's a very soft base. He's not wrong. It's not something I'm, like I said, I use a ton. It's a problem with when you order too many damn soaps. It's hard to use all the different bases and everything, and you never really take the time to dial them all in. I mean, and I'm not saying PAA is the best soap, but it's probably the reason I work with it so well is because it's the one I have the most of. And when I was first getting into Artisans, Barrister and Man and PAA were the first two. So. All right. All right, guys. Taking time to smell it in. So that's still dry. I can just tell. It feels so cakey on my face. I mean, it has a great sheen, but I just... Sorry, leaving that running on you guys. Anybody might be watching this have to go to the restroom. Sorry. All right. I'm done with it. Dry or not. Second pass won't be. So, I heard Jack mention the rhubarb was a little strong. If that's what I smell, then yes, it's a little strong. Baseball tea check. Tom Petty. Oh, nice. Foam everywhere. So, we're going to start with the king cutter. On the right side, because I don't know if this edge is any good whatsoever.
Bet you Johan got a kick out of watching it fall off the blade. See, I don't know if it's the blade there or it's when I cut myself yesterday. Feels that way. I'll show you all the razor on my next rinse. That was for you, Johan. Okay, maybe it's a little bit more hydrated through there than it was in the other areas. This. No, that's not a bad edge. I don't know shit, but that's workable. Just cutting that off. Yeah, there. Let's see that. Doesn't want to come off. It's dry. All right, going to the left hand for this. And I nicked myself. Not just now, but yesterday. Like I said, a lot of bumps and blemishes and irritation. Trying to figure shit out. All right. On to the art of shaving Dovo. Yeah, I have hair up there. All right. A little scary. Dry. All right, sorry being so quiet, guys. Although, honestly, cool. Just make it super slippery if I can for this last little bit. So, this Razor Emporium Edge, a lot better than the, uh, um, last one I was just using on the King Cutter. See the hollow?
So that's how you make a beautiful razor look ugly. Put it in my hands. <laughs> Sorry I'm being so quiet, guys. So guys, I'm going to close out. The Cannabis Santal Giveaway. Friday night. All sorts of mixed through there, guys. So I'm thinking my lack of technique And being the noob, I am enjoying bigger blades right now. There we go. Now I'm done and I can move on to the easy shit. Yeah, I got a little frustrated with it yesterday. Went downstairs. Wife looked at me and, I mean, I was worn out. But she was like, man, it looks like somebody killed your dog. It's like, I'm just tired. And she goes, you look worse than tired. So, we're only gonna do two pa passes today. Ben and Rooney. So I can't wait to use this toner. I mean, I'm not going to get to prove I'm a 38 year old man with it because, you know, it doesn't have enough alcohol. So just because I don't make a sound with it doesn't mean manly. Because it is a toner, it's not the splash. Yeah, I saw that CDB. You know, I was about eight when Home Alone came out. And that was a big thing. And I'm 38 now. Wow, that's some feedback. So yeah, guys, damn fine shade today. That's a lot of feedback. Haven't used this often. Think it's on its way out the door too. The only reason I say that I'd rather just have the money for this and have the carve aluminium. So yeah, residual slickness is great.
Oh yeah, I was just keeping on going over it, Chris. I keep hearing so much feedback. Like, it's cutting. Must be hair. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like, I'm sore here, and I'm sore all down here. You know what, guys? I didn't charge my phone before I put it in, so if you just give me a second, I'm gonna throw it on the charger while I'm filming. Sorry. But, uh... Should have charged it. It's not charging. Ba -da -da. Nope. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to finish this up because I got like three percent left. So, not rinsing anything, guys. Rinse my face. Man, that's a ton of slickness. And I'm not one to judge on slickness either. I guess the only way I truly judge is how long it takes to get all the slicky shit off my face. Which is nice. I mean, there was a time with uh, PAA I enjoyed the post shave so much that the only kind of rinse I got with it was when I put the splash on there. So, anyways, gotta get that excess lather off. I don't know why I'm doing it. I told y'all I wasn't. That is a soft soap, guys. Not something I'm accustomed to. All right. Splash time. And guys, I'm probably not going to recap because we know what I used. Oh, no. I got to get a lot of this. Actually, I'm going to track some packages. I sent some Monday. See if they came in. They said Wednesday or Thursday. It's supposed to be Wednesday. UPS is a guaranteed commits right now. So, yeah, I got some irritation, guys. Like King Cutter probably does need a new edge. Especially if I like the Razor Emporium one more. Nothing against them, just out of everything I've been using. Hasn't been my favorite. <coughs> Excuse the cough. All right, toner. Chatelier Lux Le Petit Prairie. Let's see, I was getting lather everywhere. Declaration Grooming Le Petit Prairie. It's the splash is definitely not as sweet or the toner. And like I said, this is my first time using the toner. I'm kind of Rub it in just a little bit more. There we go. Calypso above the tie, H1 plate. Sorry, my screen's really dark right now, so I'm not going to get a good look at it either. With the Wisdomet blade, probably somewhere close to 10 uses. King cutter, I was guessing that is smaller than a 5 8 so it may be a. Half inch, a little less. Five eighths, art of shaving, Dovo. If anyone's interested, hit me up. Uh, what are we looking? Oh, the cube where I get got that good menthol goodness. All right, guys. So until next time, y'all have a good one. And like I said, Friday we will be doing the drawing. I'm gonna contact somebody today on what randomizer to use and figure it out.